Earlier, we have voted against the so-called Ecuador Agreement. This is about actually Ecuador joining the Peru-Colombia Agreement, a trade agreement that we, the parliament has voted on earlier. And we were also opposed to that because it increases uh, the problems, for example, for or increases the potential of problems in, in regards to money laundering, for example. Um, it uh, puts a lot of pressure on land ownership all over Peru-Colombia. And there's also a lot of problems with the oppression, for example, of labor union activists. So now Ecuador wants to join uh, the Peru-Colombia agreement, um, but a, a sustainable impact assessment that was done inside the EU has also found out that this actually is going to increase the pressure on landowners inside Ecuador because um, big plantations, mainly for banana, will try to buy all the small plots of land from small landowners. It's also going to increase the pressure on biodiversity, again, because of the big banana plantations. So all, overall, it's really not a great agreement for neither of the sides. And a lot of NGOs, people in Ecuador have been saying we should really not agree to that. And we want to listen to those voices. And that's why we said no to the Ecuador agreement in the European Parliament. Trade can be an important tool to achieve, to achieve um, a fairer society. It can be a tool for development, but only if it's done fair and only if it's done well with regards to the environment, to the social situation and to the local economy. All of those criteria are unfortunately not fulfilled by that. So that's why we stand with our decision.